a big celebration of all things Egyptian. The Egyptian festival gets underway this afternoon at the St. Mary and St. Moses Coptic Church in North Tonawanda. News 4's Katie Alexander is there for us this morning with a sneak peek. Hey, Katie, how's it going? Well, Mel and Jordan, it is going to be a fantastic weekend here. A lot of very exciting activities to draw people out and really an opportunity to learn about the Egyptian and Coptic cultures. This is Tom. He's a deacon at this church. Where are we standing right now? So right now we're actually in the Christian bookstore here. We got a lot of gifts in terms of more towards Christian. We also have a Egyptian gift store, but that's later on. <laughs> so tell me about what people can get in here. So we got a lot of traditional gifts. Um, you have, whether it be icons that are Coptic faith related, you have have crosses, silver jewelry, things like that, statues, books, many things like that. And this is one of the many things people can check out when they come out this weekend. What's happening? Uh, so again, this is the ninth annual St. Mary, St. Moses Egyptian Festival, and it runs Friday, Saturday, and Sunday this weekend. And what are some of the activities people can enjoy? So we've got a uh, kid's corner. We're standing in the Christian bookstore here. We've got Egyptian gifts as well, um, and then uh, church tours and, of course, the food. So tell me a little bit about the food. This is something I think we've all been looking forward to learning more about. Yeah, so the food we have handmade here by all the ladies and men in the church and some of the best food that you can ever try in from the Mediterranean area. Now, talking to Father Mark a little earlier this morning, he said this is really a labor of love for everyone involved in the church. What's it been like for you? Uh, it's been definitely hectic. I mean, we are a small church and there's many, many things to do, um, but it's a blessing and, uh, again, a labor of love for the church. And a wonderful way to share your culture. If you want to come out, uh, the festival runs through Sunday, starts at 4 o'clock this afternoon, and if you want to see the uh, full schedule and full festival details, go to the Founded on 4 section of our website, wivb.com. For now, reporting live, Katie Alexander, News 4.